What's going on guys? David again, back with the Pit Boss Grill again. I want to talk to you a little today about my first experience, my initial response of buying and using this grill. Now disclaimer, I am not a smoker, I'm not good at cooking, I'm one of those few dads that does man stuff and I've not figured out how to grill or anything, worth anything. So eventually I was like, I'm going to buy something that can help with heat and I always thought that was my problem keeping good heat and paying attention to it. I don't spend a lot of time learning this stuff. I love trying cooking. It just hasn't worked out. So I'm like, you know what? We'll step up and we'll buy this. I've seen all my buddies have these. Other guys use them. They said they're super easy. They were right. This thing is super easy to use. And it still needs some tricks and learning how to use it. And I can talk about some of those that I learned just in one, one time of grilling some steaks. But it'll be a help for you if you're not very good at it. If you're awesome at it for you I suck at it for whatever reason now to start this off of course you're going to want to load your wood pellets into the hopper this one holds about 35 pounds of uh, wood chips and I use a competition blend from Pit Boss it works on all kinds of meats they have other varieties of stuff that works better with others and I'll try those down the road but this is the one I was told to try out and use so let's see how it works right so you load that up now this is a plug-in grill, so it has to plug into an outlet, and of course if you have a GFI, that'd probably be better. I need to buy a thicker gauge um, extension cord for it because obviously I can't keep it right here under the TV in the wall. I have to move it out there, and the plug that comes with this is pretty short. It's not going to reach that far. Get you a good thick gauge wire to go with this grill, and you should have a problem. So what I eventually did is easy to turn on. You just turn this dial to smoke and you hit the power button that'll turn it on if you haven't used it yet you need to hold down this prime button or you refill the hopper you need to use this prime button and you have to sit here and hold it unfortunately until it starts putting the pellets into the grill into the little fire bowl and then once it ignites you can let it go it'll do everything on its own it'll start heating up and what I love is the temperature control you can click it almost like an oven in the house click it to 225, 250, all the way up to 475, and it'll do its job pretty much on holding that heat. Now what I have noticed, and I've watched another YouTube and kind of learned this trick, I took the two probes that it does come with and put them on each side of the grill, and of course the hot side, the exhaust side, this side was definitely warmer than this side. Now at lower temperatures, there's somewhere 10, 15 degree difference. As I got up in temperatures closer to 400, it got a big difference, about 50 degrees or whatever. This dial was pretty close, pretty dead on, but I guess that's because it kind of balances both sides. Remember, newbie here. So, and of course, when you open it, this is where, that's where the heat is. That's where all your searing and stuff can be done. It's right in the middle. And uh, now the big thing I like about this grill is my buddy has the 600, it's kind of stepped down from this one, this is the 1100, is it didn't have this little metal thing that you can move and it'll open the grate and close the grate. So that is awesome. So if you close it, obviously, it's a smoker. You can open it. You can sear your steaks, your burgers. You can grill right there, do your fast stuff. Super easy. It does have this nice little table here, which is perfect um, for holding your beer. That's about it. There's not much I can see really using this thing for. I guess putting your barbecue sauce down, something like that. I mean, it, and it looks good. It's sturdy. It's not really going anywhere, but, you know, whatever. It works. Of course, another side table here. Here's your smoke thing. You can open it, close, open it, close it. You know, if you need smoke. Um, what I did is I cooked two ribeye steaks. I put them on this side for about, I think it ended up being about 45 minutes. I stuck the two probes that it comes with. It comes with two probes. Stuck those two in there to let the internal heat. I think it got to about 140. We like ours about medium. And, uh, I will say I should have let it go to 145 to get it up a little more. It's still a little closer to medium rare than actual medium. So did them there. Once those probes cooked and got to about that temperature, I opened the grate up. I put them about a minute on each side. Got that good sear, and they seared really well. And uh, steaks I made that I could actually eat without having to put in the microwave or finish trying to finish cooking or something when we're ready to eat, when everything else is hot and ready to go and I'm still having to try to finish the steaks or do something to them or just throw them away and order pizza, which is fine with me, I love pizza. But this thing made it eatable. What still wasn't the best steaks in the world, I'm not gonna brag about them at all, nobody would, 
but at least I could eat them. They did taste a thousand times better than anything I made before. This really made a huge difference on making that. And I learned, of course, that was smoking them. I don't know if that's probably a game I shouldn't have stepped up to personally. I should have just grilled them, but no big deal, whatever. Like I said, I'm already loving this thing. I've used it once. It's worked great. Power's on, no problem. Gets everything. Like I said, it doesn't really hold the temperature from side to side very well. I mean, it's still different. Like, this is going to be the hotter side than this side. So, I've already, you know, there's already something new I've learned from this grill that I never knew about these plat, uh, propane grills. Uh, now, of course, I love this over the Traeger. Uh, of course, this is going to sound stupid, but a big reason is I love the color combination. I'm a huge New Orleans Saints fan, copper and black, very New Orleans. Um, the Traeger was obviously more expensive. Now, the Traeger had a nicer option with their probes with the whole Bluetooth Wi-Fi that you could be inside with the probes in there and it'll tell you. It'll send you a message saying, hey, your internal temperature is up to 145, 155, whatever, and you don't have to come check your meat. You can just leave the top down, everything. With these probes, oh no, you have to come outside and look at it and make sure. And if you forget about it for some odd reason, well now it's at 180 degrees and it's overcooked or whatever. But you can buy the little Wi-Fi or Bluetooth app ones and you know, same thing. So this was a lot cheaper than those. Um, I went with the bigger one. Some of the guys I've watched don't even use this top grate. And uh, they just use the bottom because it is, I can already tell, it's going to be a little difficult trying to get back there and stuff as it sits. If I take that out, I can use that whole bottom rack. That's what a lot of guys I've seen do. Great, fantastic, whatever. Um, what else? It's got four wheels on it. Let's see, let's look down. So it's got actually four wheels on it. And of course, these lock and unlock. You can't do it on It's got big back wheels, which I absolutely love. It makes this thing very easy to maneuver instead of having to pick one side up and move it to wherever you want it. All you have to do, if I can get this right, instead of ha actually having to lift that side up and move it like a normal grill or something and try to maneuver it around, it rolls on all four, which is great, especially a big concrete area. You can move it around a lot easier than one of those. I don't have a whole lot of concrete, but still even just moving it from here to there, it's still a lot different. My wife can do it real easy, it's no problem. Uh, the grill was $5.99 at Lowe's. I had it delivered. I also bought the cover for it, which I believe was $70-something dollars. I think overall it's about $700 for the whole setup. I think it was like $4 for the chips. So I mean, $7.50 had it, and I think the cheapest Traeger is around that price. So for everything you get with this Pit Boss, it's the one I'm very happy I went with, and I'm glad when my buddies bought the actual step down from the unit, and he didn't like that he had to reach in the gray with the butter knife as it got hot and try to open and close it. This one comes with a little stick on the side so you don't have to do that. That's a nice problem solver. Of course, this one has the front deck, the four wheels compared to it. It's got a bigger hopper for, than, the, uh, than the set down version. It actually has a real table on the side that's actually sturdy compared to the 600, 640, whatever number it is. Absolutely love this machine. Can't wait to use again. Used it one time. My initial impression, I love it. Absolutely love it. Cannot wait to step up and make ribs. Just make some standard burgers and stuff. Like I said, I'm not a super cooker yet. I don't know if I ever will be, but if I can at least make some burgers and some steaks for my family, that'd be great. So this thing I think can do it, and it looks like it can feed an army. Other buddies have seen it. They absolutely love it. They don't have, most of them don't have pit bosses except for one or two, and they've got the step down, and they love them, which is what led me to this one. I figured the whole buy once, cry once. Let's try it out, let's make it work, let's use it. Got a nice little outdoor setup here. As you can tell, we got the TV outside, got some nice little furniture. Kids got the trampoline and the park, a little place set out here. So, want to be able to use it. Fall's coming, you know, we're in that black swan event, I guess is what they call it. I don't want to say it on YouTube, um, but you know what's going on with that. So spending time at home, cooking with the family and having stuff to do out here is very important. So $700 was almost a drop in the bucket to have that. So like I said, Pit Boss 1100, don't take my word for it. Watch other YouTubers, do your own research, of course, but I would highly 
look into this, and that's just my, that's not a very good cooker. If you are a good cooker, you're gonna get more out of this than I will. I love it. It's simple, you know, smoking, of course, I'm sure you can't beat that flavor. My bet dad was big and smoking. He did great at it. I've seen their setups, obviously, I'm sure you have. They're gonna be better than this, I'm sure. But when you need something quick and easy and you don't really wanna put that kind of effort into it, whether you're a seasoned vet or basically new like me, this is what I would go with. Check it out, guys. It's only sold at Lowe's. You can order it off the Pit Boss site, but it's going to take you to the Lowe's site. They delivered it to me, pre-assembled. Everything was done for me. I just had to do the initial burn-off, which was simple, as everything it seemed to be with this. Had it delivered, had it ready to go. Just had to plug it up and put some pellets in it and go to it, man. Like I said, if you're in the market for one or an upgrade from whatever you have now, check them out, man. They're awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye.